All right, greetings everybody, Dale Puckett here, and in this video I'm gonna do my best to explain to you the differences between equal temperament and just temperament. So first off, equal temperament. Equal temperament is what we are all used to hearing, and that is an octave that is equally divided into 12 semitones, or 12 half steps. Uh, these correlate to whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, whole step, half step, being one octave. And each one of these divisions is basically equal, thus equal temperament. In just temperament, the frets are placed according to the harmonic series of the string. And if you notice, you'll notice right off the bat that the uh, fret placement is non-linear and it is not anywhere near what it is in equal temperament. For example, the minor second is sharper, the major second there's some wiggle room here. I usually go with this guy okay, here, which is just a hair uh, sharp. The minor third is significantly sharper. The major third is significantly flatter. The fourth is about the blade of a th the thickness of a blade flatter. Uh, the flatted fifth is really flat. The perfect fifth is about the thickness of a blade sharper. The uh, minor sixth is significantly sharper. The major six is significantly flatter. The flatted seventh is a hair flat, uh, flatter. The major seventh is significantly flatter than compared to equal temperament. One thing I did notice when comparing these two is that if you look at them, you can see that they're almost mirror images of each other. The um, intervals on either side from the octave to the first fret are the same as the octave down to the major seven. Then you have wiggle room about the major second and wiggle room about the flatted, flatted seven. The sixth parallels the minor third. The major third parallels the minor sixth, right? And of course the fourth and the fifth are both about a blade equal and opposite. So you can see that these uh, patterns that exist are kind of equal on both sides. Anyhow, so what I did is I went and I got my template and I put those offsets on there so that I could accurately get the just temperament offsets accurately onto my fretboards. So, in just temperament, when you play these actual notes, the actual thirds, the actual flatted sevens or major sevens and stuff like that, they sound so musical and so um, fluid and harmonious. When you play an equal temperament, you, the same chords sound basically out of tune and dissonant. So in my opinion, just temperament sounds so much nicer. Now, now here's the deal. When you tune or when you intonate your instrument to just temperament, I mean, this is only for one string for the fundamental. So this would not be true. This pattern here would not be true for all the strings. In other words, if you were to go to the A, if this was an E string and you were to go to the A, then your pattern would start from here, right, and go on. If this is the B string, your pattern would start from here and go on, right? If you were doing it from the G string, then your pattern would start here and you would go on. So you could see that that's why those uh, guitars with all the wiggly frets, that's where they get this idea from. But if you're just doing one or two strings, man, you can totally get away with using just temperament. And so that's why I have incorporated this intonation system into my cigar box guitars. All right, that's it. I'll see you guys later.